Hey guys, this week in the Rundown, we're looking at the impact of budget cuts to PCS orders. The Navy's Voting Assistance Program is helping sailors prepare to vote. We have the latest on the E-7 quotas. A tough fiscal environment is causing the Navy to release PCS orders with shorter lead times, which means a quick turnaround for sailors getting ready to move. Typically, sailors could expect about three months to prepare for a move. But due to recent budgetary pressures, sailors are seeing about a one-month lead time on orders. We have released Priority 1 moves, which include individual augmentees, immediate and OFRP deployers, numbered fleet staffs, overseas billets, and must moves, which include safety, early return of dependents, and humanitarians. Estimated detached dates go through the end of July, and we are now working on August orders and beyond. All other orders will be released following a sequence move schedule to ensure the fleet is manned properly. This means the most critical will be issued first. Navy leadership is addressing the impact of the reduced moving timeline and is working to minimize additional impacts to sailors while ensuring the best approaches are taken to maintain current readiness throughout the rest of the fiscal year. Read our story on Navy Live, which provides further details on the change. The November general election is approaching, so now is the time to register to vote. Sailors can register for an absentee ballot by completing the Federal Post Card Application, or FCPA. You can fill out the application by going to www.fvap.gov. You can also speak in person with someone at your command voting assistance office who can help you with the application process. Check out NAVADMIN 146-16 for additional guidance including the location of command voting assistance offices. Finally, active duty E-7 quotas are out and more than 3,000 E-6 sailors are expected to be selected for advancement to the rank of Chief Petty Officer. Check out the All Hands website to see the full list of quotas by rate. That's all for this week. For any questions, send us a message at usnpeople at gmail.com. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm MC2 LJ Burleson. Thanks for watching.